Yeah, go ahead. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of uh, installing some new equipment on the old kind of crusty, rusty car trailer here. We're tired of doing the old manual uh, hand crank or the ratcheting. Yeah, um, I actually had a... So uh, these, these didn't come naturally. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had one of the come alongs that we use to winch cars up onto the trailer explode in my face. Uh, didn't wipe out my eyes, but nearly did. And so we don't want to deal with that anymore. So we went completely overkill and got a 12,000 pound winch, <laughs> which, you know, was probably going to come in handy for some other things in the future. But for now we figure, well, let's get this thing mounted on the car trailer and uh, use it to, you know, we haul cars around all the time, all these projects and stuff. So what did you buy for us here, Sal? Well, I got the highest quality <laughs> Harbor, that Harbor Freight can, can find. <laughs> no, but I did a lot of research over these. Um, it seems to be a really good winch and uh, it'll be more than we'll ever need. I just, what I was telling Jay is I didn't want to go back and say, man, I wish I would have got that bigger one and for the price compared to something that will never break i figure 800 bucks for these two units to be able to mount it and do everything that we need it was sufficient so uh, we're gonna get to unboxing this show you what's inside and uh, maybe you might want one we'll see uh, this is a pretty hefty, bra it's like a four by four bumper bracket and we'll use that to mount through the, the, uh, boards. What do we got here? <sighs> really heavy. You gotta, gotta wait, you know, need to do some <laughs> exercise or something. But I don't know what gauge that is. It's pretty thick. thick yeah. That's almost Oh, nearly quarter inch yeah, thick. Probably quarter inch. Does it say on the box? I don't know. Probably says on the box. Mm. Uh oh, Jay. It says, do not exceed 12,000 pound capacity. Do you think we'll exceed that? Uh, no, because <laughs> the fire truck we're going to buy is about 12,000 pounds. Shh, so. I'm not supposed to tell them oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's a secret. Okay. We'll see. All right, well, yeah, I don't know if the trailer you, can handle the. As you can see, that's pretty thick, though. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's check this out. What do we got in here? All right, you ready? What's under door number one? Guide to winching, eh? Who needs that? Yeah. Instructions I can't read. <laughs> check this thing out. Look at that. That's some real hardware there. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty neat. This must be for the remote. We'll just set that aside for now. Look, it even comes with the remote so you can drive yeah. the car around. And here's the... Uh... Oh, look at that. It's got a magnet. Oh, okay. Good. Sweet. Cool. Pretty hefty. I mean, that should mount onto that front part, right? Yeah. Right here? Yep. Uh, Let's see here. Probably go something like that. Yeah, buddy. Well, it's so. Oh, and this, uh, this unit doesn't have a steel cable. It's actually synthetic cable, uh -huh. so it's not going to. It's not supposed to kink or break as easy after that close encounter with jay literally blowing up right next to his face we figure we better be safe <laughs> <laughs> Damn. overkill overkill <laughs> just a maybe just a little oh crap that's heavy too that's nice looking 
12,000. So free spool engaged. So like this, then you can pull her out. After you cut this piece off. <laughs> yeah. Packaging. That's pretty nice. And somehow you go back to engage. Probably, probably, <laughs> probably lift up or something. We're gonna try to run this off of a battery jump box. I hope uh, for now, if that doesn't work, we'll have to figure out a um, mount a big 12 volt battery onto the front of the trailer maybe, but should work with a jump box for now. So what is that for? This is for, oh, for the, the cable. Uh, yeah, there's also wireless, it says on off. Wired. Wired. Oh, look, you choose the mode right here wireless wired oh okay what are yep. the goodies what is this some sort of a cover uh, for it the, this is the heavyweight belt okay <laughs> Li <laughs> lift for lifting <laughs> yeah for lifting <clears throat> and safety first electrical hardware, hardware. Yeah, that's not gonna go through what we needed to. <laughs> Neither is this. Too short. These are too short because we gotta we gotta drill holes through these like two inch boards, decking boards. Plus, they gotta go through that quarter inch thick plate, and probably we're gonna get, need to get like three inch, three inch. I just had some extra hardware here too. I thought maybe we'd go through these as well, since we're gonna go through wood. Um. Metal. We'll see. Metal, wood, then wood, and then metal. So these won't pull through the decking boards. Yeah. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I guess we're going to have to go to Home Depot and come back and get some better hardware. Alrighty, yeah. folks. We'll be back in a few minutes after, uh, you know, it'll be a jiffy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this camera editing skill. All right, folks. We're back from the hardware store. We got our... $15 worth of hardware and we're going to start drilling some holes. We're going to mount this thing directly through the deck. We're probably not going to have this car trailer for years longer. We're going to upgrade to a newer style or a, maybe a steel deck trailer or something. But certainly a newer trailer in the near future. So we're just going to mount it directly through the deck on about four or five of these two inch thick decking boards. Um, so yeah, we're gonna time lapse this. Catch you in a few minutes. folks it's all mounted and we're gonna try to get the old uh, OBS loaded up on here with it so 
All right. Uh, let me get the battery power turned on. Pretty cool. Go ahead and uh, get it tight first. Stop. <laughs> All right. You want to you want to try it with the brakes on to see if it pulls in? <laughs> try it with the brakes on, see what happens. All right, I got the brakes on. Okay, you got the e-brake off. Uh Yeah. Oh, we're just going to uh pull the tote vehicles all that's happening. <laughs> Whoop, there goes the camera. All right. <laughs> Ready? Maybe come this way just a hair. Oh man, it's puke and power steering fluid all over the place. Okay, set the emergency brake. We're gonna have to rehook it. We're about out of cable. All right, emergency brakes on. Okay, stay in there for a sec. I'm gonna let you back out, make All sure right, it doesn't go ahead. roll. Okay, let's rehook it in a different spot. You know what? Here, go ahead and loosen it. That thing's big enough. I think I can just attach it onto that bar. Okay, go ahead, pull her out. Yeah, baby, look at that. Now we're talking. Just right to the sway bar. All right, one no ton sway bar is safe enough to pull on, I think. I mean, it's not like we're keeping it. <laughs> no, that's true. Look at all the power steering fluid that puked out everywhere. Well, that just helps with the... Uh, it's fine on the trailer deck, that's good, but the driveway I'll have to clean up. Okay, hold on. You ready? Go for it. We're leaking from there, okay. Here goes. What's wrong? I'm uh, pulling back the foreskin of the rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Ready? <laughs> Go for it. Here in about three, four more inches, you're gonna be over the hump and I think the truck's gonna roll then. All right, so, go for it. Get ready. Okay, that's about as far as we can pull. That's all we really need, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> well, <laughs> that sure makes loading vehicles way, way more easy than uh, doing the old come along trick yeah. and having to risk exploding I I swear I saw sparks in front of my eyes when that thing blew up last time so anyhow uh, anyway thanks for thanks watching. for watching like subscribe comment down below let us know what you think and uh, 
catch you on the next video. Peace out.